It never feels good to put your heart and soul into something just to not see any results. This is what going to the gym and working out feels like when you don't look or feel how you want to. Luckily, returning to basics can help you, and it comes down to a couple of habits that need to be broken to get you back on track. With 20 years in the fitness industry as a certified trainer, I have seen many things sabotage success when working out. What top reasons have you seen? I'm curious, leave comments below. Building muscle and getting stronger really boils down to a few simple factors that are boring, predictable, yet crucial to your success. Of course, the most important factor in muscle growth is staring at your abs in the mirror and flexing your biceps as people walk by. I cannot think of anything more important than these to your overall fitness. All jokes aside, eating enough protein daily, recovering sufficiently, training progressively, having a good strength training plan, and sleep will all help. We have videos on all of these on our channel. Each will play a role in you achieving your fitness goals. The first thing that will sabotage your gains is a lack of protein. You need to know that protein is king. You have to have it or your training just won't matter. The amino acids that make up protein fuel your muscles. I would recommend trying to get roughly one gram of protein per pound of body weight across all protein sources. This is not from one specific study, but instead multiple studies researched throughout the years, my own experience recovering from workouts, and from observing and training other people. Now, this is not set in stone as we all are different, just a healthy range. Overall, if you're in the range of about 0.8 to 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight, I would bet you will recover and feel healthy. Most people in theory think of protein and then muscle, but you really have to be conscious of it regularly to have good sources and most meals and snacks to hit this target. The second destructive habit is not sleeping enough. It sounds simple, but it is an issue. If you neglect your sleep, it will be hard to not only maintain, but keep muscle. It's important to prioritize. It's more important than any supplement you can take. It is simply crucial to stick to a schedule and go to bed and get up at similar times every day. I would aim to be within a half hour window every day to keep your circadian rhythm in check. Aim for seven to nine hours of sleep at night. I would also invest in a better mattress. We spend money on houses, cars, and electronics, yet neglect a mattress where we spend so much of our life. If you've enjoyed this video so far, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. Share it with your fitness loving friends. A third thing that could be destroying your progress I've seen a lot is when people are training, they get used to or comfortable with just one set way of training. Their comfort zone keeps them married to one set, rep range, or exercise. There's little variety. This can be an easy habit to fall into, especially if you initially gained a lot of muscle using it in the first place. But doing 15 sets of biceps every day won't work forever. However, it could have initially worked for a few weeks. To gain muscle long term, some kind of progression is required with a new and challenging stimulus to force growth. Otherwise, your body stalls out and, and just won't change, it's adaptive. The habit of training the same way all the time, even if done consistently, can hold us back from maximizing muscle growth. You want to always be changing or changing different things one at a time. This could be anything from the amount of weight lifted, the number of reps, the actual exercises, changing from a barbell to a dumbbell, the number of sets, how often you go to the gym, and, and this is really only the tip of the iceberg with variables you can change. This is progressive overload. Remember, even adding one rep with the same weight, adding more sets at the same weight, or increasing or decreasing frequency, all can make a difference. There are many ways to progress, and if you're stuck, you need to look at it and see if your way of training is just simply no longer working. In this case, it doesn't make sense to do the same thing, because that is literally the definition of insanity. However, you also don't want to change things up just for the sake of change. If you change multiple things at once or change things too quickly, you may not even be able to isolate what is working and still feel stuck. Gaining muscle takes long-term work. It's important to change things up. However, be patient too. Now, this next habit is something I can attest to personally as with 20 years of lifting, I still struggle with it. This is training your strongest or favorite muscle first every time. Every one of us has our favorites, even if we pretend we don't. 
For me, it's chest. I always find myself adding in additional bench press sets that can be unnecessary junk volume. Leave comments below. Let us know what your go-to exercise or, or your default is. The main issue with reverting to favorites is then we're probably not spending as much time elsewhere or neglecting a lagging body part. Now, this can be okay if you have your routine. Some power lifters lift the big lifts, like deadlift, squat, and bench, almost exclusively. Even in this case, if you ask an experienced power lifter, they will tell you you need to work out other things as well, especially if these things can help you get stronger with the core compound lifts. Obviously, ignoring other lifts or body parts is not a good idea. This could limit your full body developing or give you imbalances that lead to injury. Some of these imbalances may not happen right away, but can happen later down the line. We need to train all muscles evenly. I would recommend hitting them all two to three times a week. If you ignore calves and forearms, I, I totally get it. Just kidding. Training your favorites can still be effective. Just don't let it leave you skipping or putting less effort into other exercises. Balance is key, my friends. One thing I do periodically is train starting with my weaker lifts first. When you're freshest early in the workout, try to meet your weakness head on. This allows you to progress and can change weakness and strength. This has literally happened to me with lifts that I used to hate, like squat and deadlift. I found that I could clue, include lifts I enjoyed, like hack squats, lap hold downs, dead hang for grip strength, and conjunction to then become stronger at squat and deadlift, which then made things more fun and helped to become strengths later on. I still do struggle with this, but we all do the best we can. Sometimes 15 sets of bench press is just going to happen. The last destructive habit might have to do with a scenario in which you watch, but don't do. You might watch this video, then another, then 20 videos, and three hours later you find yourself still not working out. Maybe you even forget why you started watching a video on YouTube in the first place. Now, if they were all videos in our channel, that's totally fine. Just be careful with falling into the trap of consuming tons and tons of fitness content, yet not moving forward. This is the trap of acting and not putting knowledge to use. I mean, knowledge is great, but working out's even better. Going to the gym and doing the work is paramount to your success. Watching 25 different fitness influencers tell you slightly different things in different ways can add more confusion to the point of you questioning every set and every rep. In other words, watch, like, and subscribe. Put the phone down and start working out. Pick up the weight and get to work. These five destructive habits might be sabotaging your goals. Put the phone down and start getting closer to your fitness goals. Hopefully, this video showed you some good habits to avoid, habits you've seen yourself, possibly even habits not mentioned that are holding you back from your goals. Share your bad training habits or what you've struggled with. You're not alone and I'm sure many others will be comforted knowing they are not the only ones struggling with something. As always, thank you for watching. Our goal is to bring real practical fitness advice that you can implement right away to change your life. Take your protein and hit those weights.